Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's video, a bit late with today's video, we're going to have a look at whether it's uh, week 10 days in today's video, if it's going to take us uh, well into the second half of September. So we've got this hot weather coming up for the rest of this, this week, we'll start off by looking at that in a second. Uh, it looks like it's going to break down a bit at the weekend, turn a bit cooler, but it's been delayed this, compared to what you thought a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, you thought it was going to start turning cooler on uh, Thursday, now it looks like it'll be Friday into weekend before it'll be cooler air uh, gets in. And then it looks like it's going to turn more on the but this is being pushed back as well. So um, we're just going to have to wait and see where this all rains up. But it is turning into quite a remarkable uh, September, uh, you have to say. And if this carries on much longer, I think we'll have to start thinking about having uh, all time warmest September on record, actually, because uh, we're way above. Um, way above the all-time September uh, temperature record right now. Um, still got plenty of time to reduce that, of course, but if this carries on into the second half of the month, then it does become more feasible that uh, we could be talking about the warmest September on record. But we've got a long way to go before we uh, get to that point. I'll show you the detail on the charts in a second. Before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages. Have a browse the widgets and click through the links if there's any articles that you're interested in. Thanks so you should do that. This is your ads, most pages, which open up content when you watch very close back up again. It does help to pay the gas for this .com. So we'll just start off by having a look at the temperatures through this week. So today it's going to be turning very warm down in the southeast. Uh, temperatures are going to be at around 25, 26 degrees through London and some parts of East Anglia, southeast of England, the Midlands, that's around 22, 23 degrees. And then further north of that, Wales, Northern England, it's around 19 or 20. It is cooler across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Now the real heat gets going tomorrow. The GFS is indicating temperature, temperatures to be around 29 degrees uh, across parts of East and even down into the southeast tomorrow. That's around 84 Fahrenheit, but it's probably a bit underdone, actually. We could be up to around 13 or 31 degrees tomorrow, which is going to be around 86 to 88 Fahrenheit on the 13th of September. This could be the hottest day, or tomorrow could be the hottest uh, September day since either 1973 or possibly even 1961, um, depending on how high these temperatures get. So it's going to be a pretty historic day uh, tomorrow, potentially down in the southeast of the country. Wednesday also looking very warm, if not hot, just a smidging cooler, but still temperatures need to be up at 20 Celsius, so we could still be knocking on the door of, uh, we could still be knocking on the door of 30 degrees across some parts of eastern England on Wednesday. And then a couple of days ago, Thursday was forecast to be the day that turned cooler. Actually now, Thursday is looking like a very warm, if not a hot day as well. So this is turning into a more extended period of hot weather than uh, it looked like it was going to be a couple of days ago. Goodness knows what the uh, central and temperature will be by the time we get up to uh, 30. It will probably be over 18 degrees, I would have thought. Um, now, Friday, this is the day where it's cooling down. So, uh, on Friday, we find temperatures dropping into the upper teens to low 20 Celsius. Across the country, still quite warm in the southeast, several degrees warmer than you would expect in the middle of September, but uh, obviously more manageable at around 22, 23, 24 degrees. And further north, actually, through Scotland, Northern England, Wales, temperatures just down into the teens Celsius. And then this cooler air spreads across the whole country through the weekend. That was anticipated, and it's still on course. Uh, albeit the actual period of hot weather is being extended a little bit. But by the weekend, it does look like we're going into cooler uh, weather. We'll see how that plays out and uh, whether that hot weather is extended any more beyond uh, Thursday. So these are the 500 mil of our high tsunami flow charts for the next week to 10 days. This is going to take us up to 22nd of September. We've got the ECMDF here on the top and the GFS is on the bottom, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Uh, 500 mil of ours, 80,000 feet is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure, being moved around by the jet stream running above. So uh, the ECMDF is placing a ridge up to the north and northeast of the country for the next week to 10 days with low pressure out in the Atlantic. And it means that the jet stream 
he's doing something like that. So still, even up to the second half of September, high pressure not really going all that far away. There's a bit of more on a settled interruption over weekend. Uh, and then the ECMDF wants to build it back again. Uh, next week. The uh, GFS is a lot more unsettled though, um, so this is the GFS, and there's, is that ridge up to the northeast, but it's further north and east compared to ECMDF, which allows this area of low pressure to trough coming from the Atlantic with a strengthening jet stream. So this is a lot more unsettled and cooler as well compared to the ECMDF. Quite a split there between the two models as to where this is going uh, next week. And pretty good agreement from the GFS ensembles for a big cool down and a switch to more autumnal conditions from the weekend as well. So, uh, dealing with the upper air temperature first of all, the red line here is the 30 year temperature average. And obviously, we're going to be majorly above average um, in the next few days, uh, peaking very close around 20 Celsius, 850 HPA yet again, which uh, you can see the temperature scale. We go down to around 5 Celsius, that's about where we should be in terms of the upper air temperatures at this time of the year. So we are somewhere around 15 degrees above average in terms of the upper air temperatures. And to look at that another way, if we were to be that far below average, we will go down to somewhere like here. We will go down below minus 5 Celsius at 850 HPA, which would be very remarkable because you'd be talking about snow across the northern parts of the country in September. So, um, very significantly above average, quite obviously. And then the model is indicating this dropping temperature. Now, a couple of days ago, it was forecast that we do something like this, so have quite a quick cool down. Now you see it's a much slower process to bring the cooler air in, so it's only a very, very gradual decline in the temperatures that we see through the second half of the week. Although by the time you get through to the weekend, we are clearly going a bit cooler than average then. So we do end up at the same place we was expecting to end up at by the weekend. It just takes us longer to get there. We go through a, a few detours, perhaps, before we eventually arrive at autumnal conditions by the weekend. And then the idea is generally to extend that coolish weather, quite a settled weather too, out through into the second half of the month. Uh, precipitation shows that we've got some some rainfall coming up in the second half of the week associated with this decline in the temperatures. Some precipitation spikes there. We're going to have a look at storm watch this evening to see if there is any thundery potential with these hot temperatures over the next few days. By the weekend, we've got more rainfall spikes showing up and may continue into next week as well. So on the face of it, you have to say there is good agreement between a much cooler and a very unsettled spell of weather coming up in the second half of September. But I'm just got my doubts because of how the hot weather is being extended um, through the course of this week. But eventually we do arrive at cooler and more autumnal and more unsettled conditions by the weekend. And there's fairly good agreement for that actually from the GFS ensembles. Uh, temperature anomalies then for next week obviously going to be significantly warmer than average week from the 12th through 20th of September uh, and precipitation uh, generally going a little bit uh, a little bit wetter than average uh, to the south and west of the country still a bit drier up in the northeast near normal elsewhere so quite a bit of regional variation over next week in terms of rainfall here's the GFS then for Friday this is where we're starting to bring this cooler air in off the Atlantic there's some sort of trough there as I say have a look and see whether there's any fungi potential uh, later on. Saturday, we're into a cooler air mass off the Atlantic, significantly cooler with the winds in from the northwest. Still at high pressure close to the southwest of the country, but although high pressure is close to us, it's a very different uh, air mass for the weekend. We go through to Sunday, low pressure runs in off the Atlantic. That probably brings wet and windy weather to the north and west. The southeast still remaining close to the ridge. I and mean, in the start of next week, we find low pressure moving in off the Atlantic, bringing wet and cool conditions across the country through the course of next week. We saw it on the height anomaly, very unsettled uh, GFS, uh, 8 to 10 day height anomalies this morning. So low pressure piling in off the Atlantic through the course of next week, bringing several bouts of rain and uh, pretty cool temperatures as well. If you follow the ice bars back, you can see that the air is originated from somewhere close to Greenland and Iceland, so significantly cooler and autumnal uh, with the GFS for next week. E7F is different, though. We saw it on the high dolly. So on uh, Friday, we bring the trough across the country, 
which again is introducing somewhat cooler air. We go through into the weekend and it does look cooler then on Saturday with the winds coming down from a northwesterly uh, type direction. Uh, high pressure try to send a ridge from the Azores, but actually it still looks quite unsettled on uh, Sunday. And we go through into uh, start of next week, it all goes a bit. Uh, a bit odd looking with uh, low pressure trying to come in off the Atlantic but we've still got this ridge up over Scandinavia so this is different compared to GFS GFS is placing this ridge or centering it uh, somewhere around here whereas the EWF has it over Scandinavia and that just delays the progress of these areas of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic now what happens through the course of next week is that instead of turning very unsettled with um, bouts of rain coming in Actually, the ridge starts to redevelop. So by the time we go through to day 10, which is Thursday 22nd of September, look at that high pressure is back in across most of central northern Europe. This area of low pressure is being blocked in the Atlantic and the winds are starting to turn in to the east. Now, whether the warm uh, weather continues with that doesn't really. The prayer temperatures are cooler. So this is a cool ridge. Remember, as we go further into the autumn, these ridges that are producing so much uh, hot weather at the moment further and further into the autumn, they're going to start producing cooler conditions. So by the time you get through to November, for example, you have this sort of pressure chart, you're going to be talking about frost and fog in that type of um, scenario in November. So it won't be much longer before it starts to get a lot harder to generate these high temperatures with high pressure. And by day 10, although high pressure is back across most of northern Europe on the 22nd of September, it is certainly within a substantially cooler air mass. Uh, so it looks like we're going to be keeping this hot weather going a bit longer than anticipated, but by the weekend it should be out of the way. If you don't like hot weather, um, got to a weekend to wait and then it'll be out of the way, probably just being extended a bit longer than we first thought. Um, if you do like it, make the most of it, of course, because as I say, the further on we get into the autumn, the harder it becomes the high pressure to generate this uh, level of heat. So um, we go to weekend and it's cooler. Next week, we've got a big discrepancy between the main two models. GFS wants to turn it very autumnal and unsettled with bouts of rain piling in off the Atlantic. The uh, ECWF wants to reinflate the high pressure uh, next week to keep a lot of dry weather going, albeit within a substantially cooler air mass compared to what we've got this week. So that would lead to a lot of dry days and would be pleasantly warm by day, by night probably quite cold and uh, maybe a little bit of mist and fog and that kind of thing. So we'll see how it goes um, next week uh, and see which one of these models is right for the time being. We've got the heat. Temperatures could be at their hottest on a September day tomorrow since either 1973 or 1961. I'll keep you updated and let you know uh, what, how it turns out. Right, that's all for now. We'll do Stormwatch later on, see if there's any thundery potential with this hot weather. That's all for now, and thanks.